Hello everybody, Josh here with Online ADA, bringing you another video covering the WCAG Accessibility Guidelines. In this video, we're covering 1.4.2, Audio Control. This is a Level A requirement. Let's jump into the description. If any audio on a web page plays automatically for more than three seconds, either a mechanism is available to pause or stop the audio, or a mechanism is available to control audio volume independently from the overall system volume level. This is a uh, specific situation that I have not run into at all in my audits. It's generally just not a good idea to be playing audio automatically at users. That's going to turn a lot of people off to the website anyway. Um, but if you do have a use case where that is necessary, this article specifically is covering any situation where the audio plays for longer than three seconds. If it does play for longer than three seconds, then we need to have a control for the user somewhere near the top, one of the first things on the page, that's going to either disable it site-wide, disable it for this page, or control the volume of it independently of the computer's volume. So that's really the gist of this article, and there's not a whole lot more to say about it. Before I let you go, I do want to note that there is a note on this article from the WCAG documentation. I'm going to go ahead and read that. Note 1. Since any content that does not meet the success criterion can interfere with a user's ability to use the whole page, all content on the web page, whether or not it is used to meet other success criteria, must meet this success criterion. So this is a very important success criterion, a very important article we need to make sure that we are not uh, overwhelming or inundating uh, users with audio on your site that they can't control. This is a short and sweet article, but it is right to the point. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next video.